Hello, my name is Sean Fawcett. Today I'll be showing you a basic install method on the car behind me for the rear window. We'll be using Matico window film. We go through the process from start to finish to show you the basic install for the rear window. So let's get started. Okay, now before we get started, these are some of the basic tools you'll be using for your install. There are many tools available to you, so please consult your Matico Distributor Center for a full list. You want to take a dry towel and basically do a quick wipe down on the outside just to get all the loose debris off the window. And with the same towel, you're going to lay it on the back deck of the car just to protect the rear of the car when you're working. doing this method dry, so you need the window to be dry. All right, now that I have my roll of film, I'm gonna lay it up onto the back window, and then you're gonna unroll it. Take out your knife. Cut it off. You're going to need some space top to bottom for your heat shrinking. Then you're going to trim off the excess. You're going to take a little, little paper towel or a piece of cloth. You're going to get it wet because you're going to end up, you want to set the film so it doesn't move on you. Once again, we're going to kind of lift it up, go across the middle, let it lay back down. Do the same thing. Kind of give it a tug and let it fall where it may. Okay, and you, then you want to come back and you want to cut off excess film on the sides. So you don't need all the film there. Take a little bit of powder, put it on your gloves. Just kind of put it into the gloves. Then you would come back and lift up the film. Then you're going to pat the film down to leave the powder on the window. Do the same thing again, the other side. And doing this, the film will flow freely. You basically want to start from the top of the window where the finger is and you're going to work your way down. And as you're working your way down, you're smoothing out the film as you're going. And as you can see, as you work toward the bottom, the fingers they go away and the film becomes smooth. You can also start at the bottom and work out the bottom a little bit also. And then come back to the top and smooth things out. The film doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but you do need to get the fingers out that are showing the little wrinkles in the film won't 
won't matter. Come up and do the top part. And just kind of getting going and getting the film set in the middle. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna kind of work the whole finger itself as one, one whole thing instead of starting from the bottom and going to the top. Now we'll finish off on the last corner. You kind of want to pull up the film to the top and bottom because you really can't do any heat shrinking on the sides. The film doesn't go that way. So you want to move the fingers up to the top. If it doesn't want to stay there, you just kind of work that one corner until the film stays put. Okay, now that the window has been heat shrunk, the next is cutting of the window. And as you can see, you cannot see the edge of where the window is. So there's a few options for you here. You can put a drop light into the back window and that will light up the lines along the back window, the edge of the window that you can see to cut, or you can use anything white that you can lay into the back. I use license plates. And as you can see, as the plates went in, the line around the window showed up, so now we can do our cut. Remember, sharp blade, always a new blade, and very little pressure. If it doesn't cut with soft pressure, then the blade isn't sharp. And you also want to hold your knife toward the back. You will have a lot more control over where it goes. If you hold it too close to the front, it'll tend to want to travel on you. Okay, now we will look through the top so we can find our top edge. Cross. And it's also helpful to be able to use both hands. Practice using both hands. If you only use your one hand, you'll find some cuts very difficult to do. All right, and now the towel you had outside on the rear deck, you want to bring that in with you and you'll lay that up on the back seat to try and keep as much water off of the back upholstery as possible because we're going to be spraying lots of water back here. And get everything nice and wet. Make sure you get down to the bottom. Then you take your scrubby pad on apparatus like this and you can get down to the bottom and you're gonna scrub your window squeegee you're gonna go across all the way down to the bottom come across again and then give it a quick spray down the center. All right, then you're gonna give everything a nice spray on the inside. And if you have a headliner that's felty, you can give it a spray also with the sprayer. That'll help kind of keep down some of the dust. Now, we're gonna give a spray down. When you're spraying the back of the film, it helps with the dust. So when you're peeling a liner, you don't get the stuff that's on the liner onto the film. Then you're gonna take your knife and try and separate. There we go. And you're gonna slowly peel it back. And as you're peeling it, you're going to be spraying.
Now we'll be going back into the vehicle with the film. As you're coming in to the car, you want to be careful not to touch anything. Bring it up over your head. And then get onto the glass. And then slowly work it down. And as you're doing that, let it fall, and then bring up the top, and then push it a little bit further. There we go. You also want to check around your edges and make sure you don't see any light showing through. If you do, just push it a little bit further down so you cover everything. And that looks looks good and then just kind of push everything back up make sure it's out then you're going to give everything a spray again and you're going to want to set your center first that way the film's not going anywhere on you and then kind of use your hand to smooth it out and go down the middle and then work yourself up and out to the corner. Push down, down and out to the corners. Doing this way a little bit different. Just kind of working yourself right across. Grab another tool called the bulldozer, and that's going to help you finish off the bottom of the window where your other squeegee can't get to. And pretty much all that's left is just cleaning up the water that's around. Take your towel, just kind of wipe stuff down around, and then we'll go back outside, then we'll clean the outside to give everything a once over. Sometimes you'll have extra fingers that will pop up around the edges. You can go back over that with a heat gun and with some heat on them, then push them back down and they'll go away much easier if they become stubborn and don't want to go away. But this is the basic install for a rear window. I hope you found this informative to you. If you'd like more information on training or our products, please contact us.